an independent European NGO, Disinformation Lab uncovered a worldwide shadowy network of 265 fake media outlets and websites in over 65 countries, including the US, Canada, Brussels, Geneva and many more, which all serve Indian lobbying interests. Upon investigation and research, it was revealed that the websites spread content serving Indian propaganda. EU Disinfo Lab, an NGO focused on tackling disinformation campaigns link, several websites publishing plagiarized content and opinion pieces with anti-Pakistan propaganda in an attempt to influence European Union and United Nations. According to EU Disinfo Lab, these websites are managed by Indian stakeholders with ties to Srivastava Group, and its IP address leads to New Delhi Times and the International Institute for Non-Aligned Studies (IINS). The same IINS was responsible for inviting 27 members of the European Parliament to visit a Kashmir with Prime Minister Modi. Srivastava Group of India is running fake news website which claimed to be voice of European Parliament. This website had same number five years back used by Srivastava Group. EP Today along with Times of Geneva is managed by Indian stakeholders with ties to Srivastava Group. Times of Geneva publishes the same type of content as EP Today and produces videos covering events and demonstrations criticizing Pakistan's role in the Kashmir conflict. A fake press agency for news agency is being run by the same address as of EP Today, Times of Geneva and others. Dr. Parmila Srivastava retweets the content from EP Today which draws the linkage, self-proclaimed magazine of EU Parliament is actually the propaganda magazine of Srivastava Group which has office in Brussels, and the same office is being used for the EP Today magazine. India through these content influence international institutions. They add several layers of media outlets that quote and republish one another, making it harder for the reader to trace the manipulation. India thus influences public perceptions on Pakistan by multiplying iterations of the same content available on search engines. This illustrates that India is using fake website to pursue Indian interests, which confirms its fake propaganda globally and fooling the Europeans and Indians.